yesterday. I'm calling it a success. The blank is ruined, it's not good for sale. But I learned a lot, uh, a huge amount actually. This is uh, the first side. You can see that I didn't have things dialed in. What I did was I started out with the 87 degrees that I calculated, you know, using the program online or on my uh, computer drafting program. But in reality, the way my machine operates, 87 degrees. Um, didn't cut the way I wanted it to. It ended up cutting that little ledge right there by the time I got where I wanted it to be. So I moved it to... I tried different uh, degrees on this side here and then I started over here and ended up using an 84 degree which is... I really like that grind right there. So I think I'm gonna... 84 is gonna be the grind that I need to use. That's just a nick got kind of thin on the edge and so it's like way too thin so this one will be tossed out if somebody wants it just let let me know and uh, for the price of shipping that's about six dollars I'll put it in a envelope and send it to you if somebody has to have it for their own activity it's not hardened or anything it's a2 tool steel Anyway, that's the grind that I was at, that I'm after, and so it's looking pretty good. The uh, grinding jig, the grinding jig worked out well in uh, the theory that I had. Came into reality pretty well. I just need to do some fine-tune adjustments on its alignment and stuff. But uh, it's going to work out. It's going to work out good. It's going to. I'll be able to grind all my little knives quick and accurate. The carrier that I had set up here. This carrier worked out pretty good. Just a hunk of aluminum that I cut one leg off and left a little tiny shelf in there. So that it will rest, pass through there nicely. Keep the knife. It'll keep. It keeps the knife from rocking. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.